Hi Pisces, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We're gonna go ahead, oh wow, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at your week of May 8th through the 14th. And for my subscribers, I um, apologize for not having um, the first week up because I had some family matters to attend. So that's why you don't have the first week here, but I did do your general overview um, message a few days back. So we're jumping in with your weekly reading for the 8th through the 14th Pisces. Hopefully you understand. Thank you for your patience and let's go ahead and begin. So your opening energies, wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles leaning into the Page of Cups and then we have the Ten of Swords coming in here. Now, what this is showing here is that this week, you guys are going to be given a great opportunity or there's an offer coming in, okay? The Ace of Pentacles, it does represent uh, not only a new career opportunity, but just a financial opportunity in general. So it could be a contract given to you. It could be money, a bonus, um, a raise. It's basically something that you are open to accept, knowing that is going to enhance your your path okay the ace of pentacles look how big this coin is compared to this hand it's also showing here pisces that what you are receiving is more in return more than you had imagined more than you expected more that you had um, maybe put out for so it could also tie in with not only financial rewards but happiness it could be love as well, all lumped in here together, especially when we see the page of cups coming in. Some of you, it could represent some type of uh, proposal to maybe someone discussing marriage or engagement. Um, if we look at those that are, you know, in a serious relationship for others, Pisces that are single, it does look like an invitation. Someone may be asking you out. Someone may be taking you out to, um, you know, a dinner, a lunch. Aside from romance, though, it does look like some form of communication is coming in here. You guys are going to be accepted or you have been chosen. Uh, the page of cups, it does show that there is this great energy coming in where it's going to surprise you, but it's going to be good, happy results and news. Now, as we look at the 10 of swords coming out as the the ending, I think it's so fitting because the Ten of Swords does show here on the end. So for this, Pisces, it's showing that there is um, a renewed sense of hope and opportunity, okay? Because some of you, what this is showing, you thought that maybe you were meant to go in this direction or you were meant to go in this path or pursue this particular area, but it is showing that this needed to end or this will end due to this new energy coming in. Okay, so Pisces, this 10 of swords is almost like this double confirmation. Like, yes, one when one door closes, another one opens up. But this other one that's opening up is going to be a better fit and it's going to lead you to something um, that is going to make you happier. So let's go ahead and see for Pisces your next energy that's coming in. Oh, wow. And um, for my regular viewers and subscribers, this one popped out here too. Your career reading is coming. I know a lot of you guys have recommended and re, uh, requested specific career money readings. So those money readings will be coming in a couple of days. Make sure that you stay tuned. And if you're new to this reading Pisces, make sure that you subscribe so that way you are notified when these new messages come out. So if you're new to the channel, comment down below Pisces and let me know if you are a new viewer, if you are a new watcher, let me know if you were led to this message because I would love to welcome you and just give you my um, welcoming energy and vibes. I love my Pisces gang. You guys are all extremely supportive, wonderful, and magical. So your next message coming in, Pisces, we have the Five of Swords. We're looking at the Magician. Ooh, and then we see the Page of Pentacles with this one, the Hangman, coming in as uh, the attached supporting energy. So for this week, we also see that, Pisces, you're realizing that you're not fitting or belonging where you are currently at. There's almost like this realization where you are tuning in and you are aware of 
what you're doing, where you're being situated, what you're uh, capable of doing, and you're making moves based off of that. You are aware of the, the company that surrounds you or the environment that you're in or the actions that you would like to envision yourself doing, and you're realizing that now may be the time for you to invest and lean more into your interests. You know, the Five of Swords, this energy is showing that you're realizing that sometimes, you know, dis- despite all of your best efforts, not all things are meant to go in this way. And you are accepting the realization that you, this, I don't want to say you don't belong. That sounds a little harsh. It's more like, okay, look at this, this card. You see this fox here? This fox has tied on wings, trying to fit in with the pigeons, with the birds, okay? It tried to adapt to their ways, their lifestyle, their techniques, their habits, maybe their culture. But the fox, especially since we see the hangman coming in here too, it's it shows Pisces that some of you are realizing that yes, you have learned maybe um, a new perspective, you have learned new ways, lessons. You you're aware that you can adapt, but you'll you're not meant to be. Does that make sense? Like you'll never be the pigeon because you are meant to be a fox. You may have learned their ways. Now you understand. Um, this particular industry or this field or these um, behavior like patterns, but this is going to be beneficial for what you are trying to create or where you're trying to go or what you're trying to manifest. Because with this powerful magician coming in, it's showing that you are now inspired to carry out some type of plan, action, or ideas into creating some type of reality or or a path that you wanted to be a part of or that you were trying to grow in or produce. Okay. So the five of one, the five of swords see this as this Pisces. It doesn't necessarily mean like who you're hanging out with. You don't belong. Although for some of you, it could be that, but the five of swords is showing that your, your energy, your space is bigger than where you're currently at. Okay. The Fox is more powerful, um, it just needs different things to thrive in life. So whether it is the job that you're in, the industry, the relationship, your environment, as time has gone by, Pisces, some of you are realizing, okay, you know what? <laughs> I don't, birds of a feather flock together and I'm not part of this flock. Uh, because again, some of you are bigger than, your dreams are different, your goals are different, your energy is different, your frequency is different. And with the Page of Pentacles too, I think this is so interesting because it is right diagonal from this other page. Uh, when we see pages come up, especially double page, it is definitely showing new opportunities. Okay, the page represents new beginnings, um, a new start, a new opportunity, new skills. And for you, Pisces, the page of pentacles, it's almost like, again, double confirmation as we saw the ace of pentacles. It's showing that there's a new opportunity coming, whether it's a new job, a new role. Um, for some of you, it could also be a new commitment. You are studying, learning different ways, and you are researching, finding the truth, or um, looking into a better way, a better life, because this is paired with the hangman. And if we look at the magician too, we could see that the magician may have like a spell book. It may have um, a, a, a journal or a placement for all of you know, their, their recipes, their techniques, their strategies. So some of you are putting together what you've learned, what you've gone through, applying that accordingly, gathering your resources, and you're saying, okay, you know what? It is time for me to move on, but it's going to be easier for you to move on or to move into something because you have studied the ways, you know, the technique, you know, the industry, you know, the ins and out you've done your work. Okay, is that making sense for some of you, Pisces? For some of you that this is meant to, you know, be sent out to, you'll understand. It's like you're discovering a new way um, and you're realizing that it doesn't have to only be one way. Okay, there. if you think about, um, for some reason, this is coming out, you know, when we graduate high school. Just 
because everyone's going to college doesn't mean you have to go to college, right? There's different ways of life. You can go to college, you can take a, a what's it called, a gap year, you can travel, you can go into a specialized um, industry or schooling or trade, right? It's, it's almost showing like just because everybody else was doing this or just because everyone else was living here or everyone else was doing this particular thing in their life, you're realizing you're doing something differently. And Pisces, that's what's magical about you. Um, you guys kind of go with the own rhythm, your own rhythm, your own beat of the drum. Um, you guys are just generally unique in, in, in life, you know, like the way you see the world. It's very creative. It's very artistic. You guys put your own spin to something, but you see it with um, in a different way that others may have not seen. And that is what is going to set you apart and what's going to carry you further. So again, Pisces, I'm going to be doing your weekly breakdown. So this is just for the 8th through the 14th, but I'm going to be doing your other weeks coming up along with your money reading because that was heavily requested. If you're new, Pisces, if you're a new viewer, let me know if you enjoy money readings as well because I did not realize that was heavily um, you know, sought after until my loyal Pisces gang <laughs> uh, brought that to my attention. So, by the way, let me know, Pisces, for those that are my loyal regular viewers, let me know that you're here in the comments down below my um my powerful pisces gang my powerful pisces gang <laughs> okay so your next message we see the ten of pentacles the chariot oh and we see the nine of wands coming in i'm liking all of this strong pentacle energy we saw the ace of pentacles coming in we're looking at the Ten of Pentacles, showing that there is financial security coming in. Also, the Ten of Pentacles shows that you are on the right path. This week, it it shows that this week you're going to be experiencing like this pull from your intuition, this pull from your spirit, or um, you're going to feel led to go in a new direction which I'm not surprised as it's diagonal from the five of swords, but where you are meant to go, you're going to see it's going to pay off. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be the start of like a beautiful path up ahead. Like this is just the beginning, but it's building up to something great. The 10 of pentacles too, it's showing that you may be finding support through your journey this week. You may be getting the approval of maybe like friends, family, um, you know, maybe your work is helping you transfer. There's this energy here, Pisces, there is um, support. Okay, you're surrounded by some type of um, like you're surrounded by not only like abundance, but like love and security. You know, whether you are getting the blessings from, again, like your spouse, your family member, your your job, um, that is, you know, when everything is meant to be, things happen with ease. That's what I like to say. It's like things are stacking up accordingly with this new move, this new direction that, that you're going in. The 10 of pentacles too, it shows that you are finding comfort and also you're feeling like this sense of belonging in a new space. I think this is interesting too because when we look at the five of swords, I mean five plus five is ten and then it comes out here with ten of pentacles. So although this is a new message, Pisces, some of you this week are going to realize or experience that where you come across or where you are taking yourself, this is where you belong. You feel like this sense of home, security, love. And you're willing to put in the work, the energy. You're willing to like build yourself back up or build onto this. So this is beautiful. But this is a very great sign here coming for you. Okay, let's see. For Pisces, what else do they need to know for this week? My wonderful Pisces for the 8th through the 14th. Wow, look at this. Look at this card that just came through. The chariot popped through. 
We see the um, the King of Pentacles. Let's see what else pops up. Okay, you know what? Let's just read all of these right here. I feel like these wanted to come out here for you, Pisces. The King of Pentacles, and then we see the Chariot. Let's look at. Okay, I think this is interesting because look at this, Pisces. This is crazy because we see pentacle chariot so double cherry energy you guys are in the process of moving or you are going towards your vision you're moving towards your goal um some of you you don't even know you don't even need to know like where the destination's at you're excited for the journey uh the chariot especially since we see double chariots coming in we see something steering forward we see efficiency taking place. Um, there's also this energy showing Pisces that you're going to be in a great position. It could be you also being in a new position, whether it's your business, whether it's your job, your career. You're going to be in a better fit position or in a position that's going to be like long lasting like this isn't like a part-time job this isn't like a part-time gig it's something that you want to invest in long term or where you're going it's going to be a role that you're going to be in long term uh the king of pentacles aside from jobs though it's showing too that where you are looking to position yourself you're thinking about the future you're thinking about growth um so we see security coming in here that's very uh interesting too because it's almost like double confirmation and look at this the ten of swords is coming in here a double ten of swords this is showing that, you know, sometimes we are motivated to, to change or to move on based off of a setback or some type of growing pain. Okay, this is showing like a growing pain. Some of you are seeing, okay, you know what? Something did not work out in my life or my path, but even though this did not meet up to my expectations, even though this may have been... um. A lesson to be learned where you're going you're seeing that this was better for you pisces and i say that because look at these other energies that are coming in ace of cups so we see double aces coming in here uh definitely confirming that you're going to be a lot happier some of you could be finding yourself in a better relationship for those that are single because the ace of cups does represent new relationships it shows a uh, new love but also it shows that what you are receiving is going to be, be better fit for your soul it's like your soul's deepest joy and desire is being met the justice is showing that things are being arranged for you pisces the universe is looking out um and also the four of pentacles it looks like where you are going you are going to um possibly need to put down more money like you're putting down like maybe a deposit you're maybe investing in yourself like a new suit uh, maybe new furniture um it's showing that you're going to be needing to save money but you're also that money that you are um going to be using it's investing in you it's pouring back into like your future your home your career your projects your business so it's saying save it um accumulate it but where you spend it, it's really going to be an investment back into you. So Pisces, wow, a lot of powerful things happening in here. This is exciting because we are looking at the tens, okay? So we see the tens. Some of you, your lucky number is 10, uh, I see here. Mm, some of you could be seeing double signs, like 10 tens. So the 10 is showing that there is going to be better opportunities coming your way double tens is showing success it's interesting because even though the ten of swords does not look like success the ten of swords is a double confirmation from the universe that this was meant to end because you know some of us we need a couple signs right it's like okay i need a sign i need another sign some of us are like praying praying to our angels to god to spirit to the universe like give me a sign and sometimes the signs come and we're like um okay i need another sign and it's like another sign okay i need another sign right so it's Spirit is giving you 10, okay, 20 signs. Like, Pisces, this is not meant to be. Turn around, go a different way. So now, initially, it may feel like defeat. Like, oh my gosh, I, I failed. But again, with your shift of perspective, Pisces, you're gonna see, oh, okay, you know what? This was actually the universe protecting you from continuing on. Like, look, you can't get up from these 10 swords, right? You're, you're like, Ugh. you are like stuck. The universe is like, no, 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 no. It's it's cutting um, your 
expectations in your mind, spirit, you know, your physical, it's saying like Pisces, forget it. What you, what you thought was best for you is not in this direction. So it's trying to stop you in your tracks from going down a road that could lead to wasted time, wasted energy, wasted emotions, um, possibly finances too, because where you're, where you're being led and some of you will know it's showing too that you're going to see signs okay some of you are going to be receiving signs from the universe spirit source um and even in your spirit pisces a lot of you are intuitively connected okay comment down below too pisces if you know that you have that gift of being intuitively connected connected intuitively connected okay comment down below i am intuitively connected because it shows that in your heart space in your spirit you're going to know where your your star your north star is you're going to know where to go you don't need the map you don't need gps you know you're going to hear the words you're going to get your signs of the next move so this is like the sign that you needed um and you know with the double ten the double ten of swords pisces it's also a reminder that sometimes what we think is um you know what is denied to us or what does not happen we think it's not meant to happen at all but it's just showing no this is just a delay because you are meant to wait a little bit longer for something else Okay, and the classic example that I can give that that everyone can relate to is, you know, with a job. Maybe we didn't get that phone call from that particular company or that particular role, or maybe a relationship didn't work out. Okay, because the sword energy does tap into your mind. You had envisioned yourself being here or being with this person or going there, right? So it's something that you were mentally invested in. Like, oh, yes, this is going to be mine. This is where I'm going to go. This is where I'm going to move up but it doesn't happen or it gets cut short or um, they choose somebody else, right? So at first initial glance, you're thinking like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. Why me? But then you're seeing, oh, well now it opens the door for you to accept a better offer, a better love, a better uh, position, a better environment, a better space. And you're like, oh, now you're going to be able to look back and say, you know what? Okay. I'm glad all of these obstacles and blockages happened because what I came across is going to be much better. So this is kind of like that sign that I feel like some of you needed Pisces, um, because there's a lot of doubles coming in here. The double aces Well, we see the, the double 10 of swords. We see the double chariots. So yeah, triple confirmation for you, but make sure you stay tuned for your next reading Pisces along with your money reading. Okay. So, um, until then stay well and be blessed.